A person puts on an XR headset, followed by scenes of XR being used in diverse personal and work settings. XR, or extended reality, is the future. It will change the way we work, play, and live. While often associated with gaming, XR's utility is much broader. As recently as 2019, business investment in XR overtook consumer purchases, and in 2023, businesses will triple consumer XR spending. Sunny Ammerman, an XR end user and community manager of Spoonie VR. So I'm stuck at home a lot. And of course that leads to a lot of isolation. It's hard for me to socialize that way. Finding social VR was a wonderful outlet because at any time I could put on that brick, hang out in my living room and be in a party or attend a special event. At the same time, XR's future threatens to leave people behind. Similar to the advent of the TV, computers, and the internet, the needs of people with disabilities are not being considered. Shiri Azencott, Associate Professor of Information Science at Cornell University and Executive Director of the XR Access Initiative. We have a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to make XR accessible now. And we want to make sure that XR doesn't follow the path of every other technology in the past. We want to be proactive and make sure that it is born accessible. So we're focusing on an area that can have a significant impact on the lives of blind and low vision people, and that's the workplace. Sean Doherty, Manager of Corporate Relationships, Lighthouse for the Blind. 70% of visually impaired people are unemployed. A high school dropout is statistically more likely to be employed than a blind person with an associate's degree. A college educated blind person will earn about $15,000 less annually than their sighted peers. When a blind person puts on a VR headset and joins a work meeting, how is she going to know what's going on? She can't see who's joining the virtual table. She can't see what annotations people are making on the virtual whiteboard. People might be laughing and she won't know why. I myself have very low vision. So if I were to put on a VR headset and join a virtual meeting, it would be a very confusing situation and it would definitely impact my confidence and also my ability to fully contribute to the conversation. Charles Lapierre, Principal Accessibility and Content Quality Architect at Benetech. Our vision is to create an XR experience that works for everybody. This will not only create more workplace opportunities for people with visual impairments, but also create more societal utility because more people can use XR. It'll also help drive down the cost of production because we'll help developers design for accessibility from the beginning. Social Sense XR is how we get there. Demo footage of Social Sense XR showing multiple VR avatars communicating around a table. Leveraging deep knowledge about accessibility and people with visual impairments in the workplace, we will enable our users to perceive the invisible. Social Sense XR takes purely visual, nonverbal cues and converts them into formats like sound and haptics, with which blind and low vision people can interact. This will make XR accessible to all workers and put people with visual impairments on even footing. Social Sense XR's high fidelity prototypes will serve as functional examples of how XR in the workplace can be accessible to all users. These will result in guidelines that will ultimately be incorporated into global standards for accessible technology development. We invite you to learn more by visiting xraccess.org slash socialsensexr.